Welcome, 7 days today, day 27, 10 p.m. So I came back to my horde base to work on it. I've been installing some uh, electric fence posts and I was thinking about putting them here. But I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem because I would like to connect them in the same line as this ones. And I would have to put it. Oh boy. Is that a cop? No, it's just a fat guy. Let me just deal with this friend and I'll just be wide with you. You're gonna be axed, buddy. Thank you very much. Okay, I've got three zombies. Is that all? Could be a bear round or something like that. So I brought the shotgun again. I'm gonna give the sledge a little bit of a rest. It should be okay. So, as I was saying before, I would like to have an electric fence post underneath and the wire going this way. Not only it's gonna be hard to connect it because it's a little bit far away and I have to go through that side. I have the zombies doing 200% damage and I don't know if that applies to the explosions too. So I think if I open up this thing and start putting stuff under the floor, the floor is going to be very vulnerable to explosions. So I think it better, I better off not do that. I actually put uh, fences here. I'm going to have it on the sides. I might add a few plates here just to protect them a little bit. And basically I'm going to crisscross them. I'm going to send in. I think I got the wire. So let's start putting it in right now. So basically this one is going to go to that one. This one. Uh, to that one. You see the idea? I'm gonna crisscross a little bit, so this will give extra protection to this pillar here. And uh, I'm just not gonna be able to fix them during the horde because I'm gonna be up there and I don't think I can reach them. But this is gonna be the first defense. Some, fan some electric fence posts. And, oh yeah, but I can't connect to that one. Well, I actually connected that one wrong. That's why, yeah. This should be from this one to the left to the right. That's right. This way it's all crisscrossed. And I just have to bring a line down here. So the idea would have would be so that the zombies would stop here by the energy first post so that they get uh, killed by the dot traps a little bit more efficiently. Because when I have actually two of them coming up, the second one is able to bypass the dot trap. So what instead I'm gonna do is actually put a pole hole so that the fan, the wire comes right here on top of the ladder. Instead of having vertically, I'm gonna have it perpendicular. So let's see where it would be. Now the problem is they're not gonna be very well protected, the fences. But I think if I put a post here, I should be able to fix it. Yeah, I can't put it. Yeah, it has to be on this block here. And I can actually put it there. But if I put on that block, the the, the climbers will, well, but then again, the dogs don't climb ladders. And the climbers can just jump. So I think right here should be okay. I should be able to fix it there. And this is right on top of the ladder. When they come up here, they get zapped, they get stopped, and they get shot by the dot trap. That's the idea. Not only that, it's close to me, I can fix them. Let's actually... There you go, I can fix them right here. So, I'm gonna do... On this side, coming from that side over here, so I can fix this one. And I'm gonna do the opposite so that I can fix another one on that side because if I fix them both on this side I'm gonna have to be stuck on this side and I kinda wanna go between both so let's just take care of this fat guy he already destroyed an electric fence didn't he? of course he did you motherfucker with so much stuff to hit you gotta hit the damn electric post you son of a bitch these things are expensive, man. God damn. Good thing I made more than, than, than the... So let's just copy this one. There you go. Yeah, I, I think I'm definitely going to have to protect these things. So did I bring blocks? I did. So let's actually use plates here. Normal plates. I think they should be good. Where are they? Where they are. What do you want? God damn. These crawlers always hit me. And I hear more. Knights. Yeah, and this is the forest. 
in the desert is definitely a little a little bit worse so i'm definitely gonna have to access them here why is that one not connected oh because it's the new one gotcha uh so i'm thinking i can actually put a plate coming all the way down might not be a bad idea because it will work also as support and it will give some extra protection because i mean they can hit it but they can also for example spit from this side so if i put it like this i just need a hatch down here and uh, and uh, i think it should be good to go and i can always attach another block here let's see uh which one would be a very thin one that four by one yeah that four by one i think should work let's put it on face no but it's too thick god damn has to be another one let's see if i can find the block that's the right thickness but it goes outside because this is actually not a full block yeah but it's actually the right is it the right thickness i don't even know No, this is actually just uh, a corner one. So the one that I chose was this one. That's not the one. What? I, yeah, this is the one. Plate ramp. But it's too long. Oh, man. I need something like this, but shorter. Like half block with this height. Yeah, let's see if I can find it. There's this plate wedge filler. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I mean, uh, let's see if we can go on face. Uh, let's go for advance. There you go. At least I close off. It gives a little bit of a thing. But I would like it to be a little bit longer. I'm going to look a little bit better. I can't find that block. The best option I got is this one. But it, it doesn't go down. See, it's not a ramp. It's like a half plate. So I'm not going to use anything over there. I'm just going to put these plates. And uh, stop wasting time. Because... <laughs> I usually waste a lot of time doing this type of stuff. So let's just put it like this. There you go. And then I'm gonna cover it up on this side too. And uh, if I put it like this, I should be able to reach the thing down there. Not only that, I can actually cover it up because I can reach it from the middle. And I'm just wondering, should I actually close this whole thing? Uh, because the zombies could get through here and damage that thing right there. I might actually put it like this, you know? And in case I want to, I might, I could also remove that block in the middle and actually put something else over there. This way I can reach them, so let's actually make a few hatches, so it's gonna be eight hatches. And I don't have any wood. God damn, I'm gonna have to get some wood. But let's just put this one in for now on face. So I want it to open down so it's a little bit easier. And there we go. I can see it. Nice. No problem at all. Okay, so it's a little bit better protected. So let's just connect this one again. And let's put these things. Of course, it's just a 28. It's not gonna be like completely inside the horde, right? Okay, let's get some wood in the middle of the night. Should be fine. I see a bear right there. So, you know what? Another thing that I brought is this baby right here. I put an eight, eight times scope. It's a little bit uh, too much for me, but it, the weapon is very powerful. And uh, I kinda like it. Let's see if I can kill the stupid bear. Jesus. That was close. But okay. That's awesome. When I get a four scope or even two, I might put it here. But I like this weapon. Not only it's gonna be good for hunting, I can also take a few shots from afar. Yeah, a nice range weapon is pretty cool. Because I used to have the knife on number three. But now I think I'm just gonna collect stuff with the axe. It's just faster. And I usually collect bones and stuff quite frequently. So even though the axe gives me a little bit less, 
I should be getting a nice quantity even with the axe. So it's just faster and this way I don't need to bring the knife at all. Because now my club is quite powerful. So in terms of melee, I should be good. Okay. So let's just dismantle these trees right here. And uh, let's make some more plates. Okay. And I got a Romy Horde here. Nice. Sweet. Soften them up with a pistol. There we go. Sweet. I think I better take a coffee. Might be helpful. You know, I, us I usually jiggle uh, between two melee weapons. But with a pistol, it's very helpful. There we go. Problem solved. And I don't have to reload in the middle of the fight. Yeah, it works. Let's just reload it all. Okay. Let's continue chopping out trees. I got an extra point, And I'm definitely going to go into Electrician. I want to keep raising my Advanced Engineering. And uh, the next one, I need level 8, actually, Jesus. I need 2, 4, I need 5 points to go to 4. Because this will give me more XP from the trap kills. Because definitely I want to use them. They're just fun. And the horde by itself will not stand. I don't want to just use ammo. I want the traps to help. And uh, definitely going to advanced visionary will help. So, there you go. How much wood I got. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Hello, friend. That's right. Trying to sneak on me, are you? Thank you very much. I do enjoy the hunting rifle. Yep. So, I'm just finishing up. This is all trees that I planted before. And they're all at 1200, so that's nice. And I still got plenty of cobalt, still got plenty of concrete. I think it should be good. I can do grilled meat now, which is great. And there's another wolf right there. So it was more than one. I actually killed one before. There you go. I hope it's not a... Yeah, let's finish him off with a pistol. There we go. Thank you, Pochi. That was nice. And look at that. Yeah, with the axe, it was just fine. Could there be more? I don't see them. Yeah, I think we got it. So it's just a matter of putting on the plates and then doing the connection. And I think I should be good to go. Okay, the plates are all in. So let's put in the hatches now. Let's go on face and uh, open up down. There you go. Nice. That's the ticket. That's why I like to use the wood ones first because it's so much easier to see where the handle is. And there we go. Now it's all about upgrading. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough iron. Oh, but I have the iron edges already. So let's put it in. And then I need a wire coming down this way. Probably going to have... Yeah, let's see. Should I have like... Um, electric wire relay here? Could be an option. What I might have to do is actually add it on the roof. Because I'm going to have one to come down here. And it wouldn't be a terrible idea to actually close off this whole section up here to protect it from birds. Because I would like to have electric wires here on the corners. Just right above the thing, you know? So I was building this thing, I think I'm not gonna do it. But I might actually cover this all up. The problem is now I'm not gonna have enough time. So the wires could be in the way on this sword, but I'll fix them later. Yeah. For the time being, I don't think I'm going to put nothing in this one here. Uh, copy rotation. Yeah, for this one at least, it's going to be like this. I'm definitely going to upgrade this concrete. And what I'm thinking is, will the zombies get stuck on the blades? That's why I wanted to put something here, a little bit of a ramp. But that wouldn't come out this way. Because I'm kind of scared that they might get stuck there and start hitting these things, you know. But as we said before, with the fat guy, he went for the electric fence post without any sort of uh, obstacle in the way. So, if I guess if they want to go for these things, they'll go anyway. So, a plate should be fine. If this was a half lock, that would be a problem. Because they can definitely get stuck on a, on a half lock. 
So I also upgraded the block underneath. At least down here, let's go to concrete and uh, eventually to steel. Because they're definitely gonna hit these things. And uh, okay. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna work. I was also thinking about putting one here, but the problem is here, uh, because of the shape of these blocks, the electric fence gets a little bit in the way, and it's gonna be hard to protect them. And uh, also, they're gonna be easily damaged, so I decided to not put on the, those ones. I I mean, I got all sides covered. I think I should be should be okay. I just don't have enough iron, I'm gonna have to go in and see if I have some more. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of spikes and we should be good to go. Let's actually just make the connections right now. Might be better before I forget. So the dots are already connected, so... The other problem is, let's see if I'll have enough power for all of this. I do have six generators, six engines here. Um. Let's bring from the switch to this one. And from the switch to that one over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have wires on the way, but that's how it's gonna be. So that's the one that I'm gonna fix is the one on the left, because it's the end of the line. And on my right hand side, I'll fix on this side, also on the left hand side. So these ones are okay. And as you can see, they when they come up the ladder, when they reach this point, they're gonna get zapped and hopefully the dot traps will do the rest. So they'll not be able to easily bypass the dot traps. I would like to have more here too, in case they actually get through to protect this, this area. But for the time being, let's keep putting them this way. I just don't remember how many I think I can connect nine things. I can have nine outputs from the switch. And uh, this take how much? Just five watts. I think it should be okay. Just five watts. Now let's see, can I go to the floor? I can. Oh, nice. Sweet, so I can reach the floor to connect these things. Sweet, okay. So let's do the same thing from the mall. So, I already done that one. It's just one on each side, right? Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, these ones are gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna stop working pretty early. And that's the thing. I don't know if the block damage affects the traps too. Will these traps get damaged sooner than normal? Because the zombies are doing 200% damage? That's another question that I don't know. Let's see. It's gonna be hard to judge. It, this will have to be tested like separately, I think, to have a good idea. But that should be fine. These things will help me uh, at least in the beginning of the horde. And once again, they usually start coming from different sides. So maybe at the beginning, the first wave will come from this side and get zapped on this one. If I'm lucky, on the next wave, they'll come from another side. So I'll still have other electric fences working. So I got all four, and we're done. Let's just go upstairs, turn it all up. These use 10, but they only activated by the tripwire. So they're not going to be turned on all the time. So let's just turn it on and see how, we, how it is. 65 watts. So 20 more watts for the dot traps. I don't even reach a third of the capacity. Yeah, I'm definitely good. I can add more, and uh, I'm still going to be in the clear to keep using more traps. Of course, these ones are not protected. If I'm standing here and a cop shoots, spits or something, uh, they're gonna get blown away. So... The problem is I can't really put anything here, can I? Can I put like a block here? Let's see, is that a double block? A double plate? For example, In terms of these poles, you have this option. Is this? I would like to have this option, but with plates, one on each side. I don't know if there is. Otherwise, I can't really put. Yeah, I have these ones here. 
Oh, I do. Blade double, blade double two. What's the difference? I'm not sure which one is the difference, so let's just... I mean, I can fit. The zombies should be able to come through this way, shouldn't they? But if I put this thing, I can't fix it. Yeah, that's the problem. But I could hang this like that. I can still open up the hatch and fall through it. It's just a little bit harder to close it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to turn it around. So that uh, when they open up, because it goes into the thing and I can't really open up, close it out. But it would be great to have it right here. And then I could have a plate on the outside. Let's go for a normal plate here. Let's go advanced. At least from underneath, they're not gonna show you. The problem is that plate over there. And I could change it for a different block. I could change it for that double. Let's see if, if I... Yeah, this one. Plate corner. If I put this one here, I could protect the bar, the electric fence from that side. And I just need another one here. I can't place it there. Uh, here from the front. Yeah, I can place a, a plate on top. gonna be a lot of plates but they should still be able to come through here but this is gonna close me off a lot not a big fan of this you know I don't like this uh, this is way too much it's covering everything up I want to have clear sight to be able to shoot wherever I am so I'm gonna remove this whole thing and I'm not gonna put the fences here I'm actually gonna put a land clean block here on top I already made it, I think. There it is. So that's a half block. What do I have there? Yeah, I think I'm gonna remove this one and put the land plane right here in the middle. Actually right here inside, I think it's gonna be a perfect spot. I can protect it again. There you go. So this way I can pick up stuff. And let's put another plate here. Should be good. No, it shouldn't be a plate, it should be a, a, a railing, but okay, it's protected. And I think it should also give support uh, as the other block was. So, okay, I don't like this thing here, I'm gonna take them out. They're gonna get damaged, they're gonna get destroyed, and if I protect them, it's gonna be a lot of things in the way. I don't like it. And I need to repair that one, that should be okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have to think of another way to actually put the things here I could also connect once again they're not gonna be very well protected here but I could just put them here and they'll discover this part here because all I want these fences to do is to stop the zombies in the lair so that the dot trap kills them and uh, I actually move around on top of this thing quite frequently so I should be able to get close and fix this stuff so I'm actually going to put them here. They're not going to be protected. But then again, they're not exactly where I'm going to be. Uh, I just don't have enough time to figure out a better way. You know, for the time being, I think I'm going to use them like this. And then when I have more time, I'll figure out a better place to put them. So this is going to be like this. So I'm going to need a wire to come to this one. And then another one. Yeah, but it doesn't cover the ladder. Nope, that's not gonna work neither. Another option that I got is to actually put them here on the floor. Remove this block here because I do have the plates now working as support. 
And this is just an extra support. I still have the wall. And actually have a fence going through this block here. I'm just not going to be able to fix it. That's the only problem. But what I could do is actually had one here and another one on top. So that when one gets broken, I got the other one working. So it actually occupies two blocks. I could have one upward and another one downward. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is concrete. Yeah, but I think it's the best solution. It's not going to be in the way. It's going to be protected. I'm not going to be able to fix it, but at least it's going to do what I want it to do. So I'll upgrade it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove these ones out of here. Well, maybe I don't. I just need to remove this one, the one in the middle, and then the poles. It's already noon, and I'm kind of hungry, and I don't have any more food on me, and I don't have any iron. So I'm going to have to get some iron. And uh, let's see, but it's pretty much done. It's just a matter of trying to put this fence here in the middle. And I should be able to reach those ones there. There you go. And then connect it. Uh, and I think it should be good to go. I also crafted a bunch more exploding arrows. And um, in terms of ammo, I think I'm doing okay. Let's just see if I got some dark ammo on this one. Yeah, let's put half. Still, it's pretty much full. So it should be okay. There you go. Yeah, that's all I have to do now. I could actually put it from here. I don't have to remove those blocks. Yeah, but I'm hanging the hatch. Let's see if I can get myself on a position where I can remove the ones inside without removing the ones outside. Let's see about that. Oh yeah, these three I managed to do so. The one on the bottom, I'm not sure. Because I'm gonna hit the head. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. I found the angle. I was scared. I'm still not sure which block I'm hitting. I could be hitting the plate, you know. I'm gonna have. To, oh yeah, I see the destruction now. Great. So the cool thing is, I'm gonna have a wire at this level coming this way, and the zombie should get zapped right here. When this one gets broken. I'm going to have another wire. I could actually have it two blocks above. Have them both uh, upward. So that when the, the line underneath stops working, they're not going to reach the one on top. So basically, this is going to hit the first wave. When it gets destroyed, they're going to start get zapped by the second wave. So I think it should work. Let's just do the connections and see... Uh, yeah, in terms of power, it should be okay. Yeah, it's definitely gonna work, I think it is. Okay, I got clearance there, so let's see how many fences. I got 12 still, nice. So let me just see, it's like this. Of course, with the hedge. Well, if I turn it upside down, I can access it like I can this one. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna turn it upside down. Where is it? There it is. Oh, but I have to see the top block, so I'm gonna have to put like this, and now I should be able to put it in. There you go, nice. So, to make it more, yeah, I need, I can put them both like this. So I'm gonna need another hedge there, because from the ones on Bonomoro, I'm not gonna be able to reach. On top I have I could have a hedge from the top, but I think I'm going to put it like this. There you go. So you get the idea. One line here and one line there. The one on top, when the zombies are just here, they're not going to reach it. They should get zapped by the one on the bottom. And it's cool because it's even going to get the dogs and all. And when this one stops working, when they start climbing the ladder, when they reach kind of like here, they should get zapped again by the second line. So there you go. Nice. I think it's going to work. I just have to clear out that pillar on this side. Uh, luckily, I didn't put any blocks on this one yet. I didn't upgrade them. That's why I don't like to go to concrete all the way right away, because I never know what changes I might do. So I'm just going to do the same thing, have a nice meal, and for the next episode, we should have a nice banging Hornet. But for now, thank you for watching, and until next time.